Okay, we're moving on to the next color. Color, you are live on the air. Please tell us your name where you're calling from. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Shanae. I'm calling from Crown Heights again. Are you able to tell me why um, why it's really easy to keep the Torah? Because to me, it seems it's not easy. Like, Paul's right. But... Don't hang up on this boy. Listen very carefully. Yeah. Oh, oh, so I could tell that you grew up in a religious home, yes? Yeah. Which mitzvah is more difficult to observe? The commandment to eat kosher and to not eat yeah. taif, or Lushan Hara to not speak evil about someone? What, what's more difficult? Well, for me personally, I think it's not speaking bad about people because you personally, are you insane? <laughs> I love you. I'm kidding. Listen to me. It's not even close. To Just to eat a kosher uh, food and not eat pork and lobster? I mean, that's hard. That's nothing. <laughs> Why is it in Tanakh that the Jews are criticized relentlessly for certain sins and other sins I've almost never mentioned? I mean... There's almost no mention in Tanakh anywhere about Jews eating unkosher food. It's unbelievably difficult to find such a mention. The prophets contain a record of criticism. The Nevi'im, the prophets, is a record of every mistake that the Jews have made. And our enemies use this record as a weapon against us hit us over the head. So you just use your brains. Kindlech. My sweet brothers and sisters, look at the Nevi'im, which is the second part, section of Tanakh, Torah, Nevi'im, Kesuv, mean the writings, and just see what seems to come up over and over and over again. What problem, what sin seems to be one that people stumble in, and what sin just doesn't come up very much? Well, I could give you the inside scoop, and you can ask any religious Jew. It is not difficult to keep Shabbos. Now, it's I'll tell you to keep Shabbos if you're on a plane. And that was with me and my daughter. We were flying, I don't remember where, and the plane had landed late, and I, we got stuck in some city. We couldn't go to where we were going, so we had to go get a hotel. And it was very difficult. We didn't have food. You know? So there, you could be in such a hard situation where you wind up in a hotel because Shabbos is already here, and then you, the hotel has an electric door, an electric thing, and all you have is a salon. I grant you, you could, but that's not regular. It's very easy to keep Shabbos. Very easy to keep kosher. You just don't betray food. Believe me, this is not hard. Paul is so wrong about this. He's so off. This is so why it's so transparent. He wasn't Orthodox. He wasn't a Pharisee. Because he makes the big deal out of the difficulty of keeping ritual law. Ritual law is the easiest thing to keep. Just listen. Let's talk about the real thing. The reality is that the challenge in life is a rela your relationship between men and your fellow men. That's the challenge, that there should be justice and righteousness. And Sodom was destroyed for that, for violating, because there was no tzedakah mishpat, see Genesis chapter 18, and HaKash Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed be his name, tells us explicitly in the book of Isaiah 127, Jerusalem we will be saved, will be redeemed. The messianic age will come. The world be redeemed through what? Justice and righteousness. That's it. How do you treat other people? Really? Why do you think the Jews go through all these sorrows, these problems we have? Our enemies want to destroy us. It unites us. You know what it you know, If you're a Christian now, I'm not kidding. If you're a Christian, and you read Isaiah 127, and please read it in context. Read the early part of Isaiah 1 where the Jews are criticized because they were keeping ritual law, but they were not feeding the hungry, not clothing the naked, not taking care of the widow. Because I'm just, I don't need any of it. I don't need your candies. I don't need your flour. I don't, they're nice. But if you're doing that stuff, you're messed up. You're really messed up. And Klal Yisrael was messing up bad bad. And then October 7th happened. And that's what it took to unite us.
That's what it took. That's sad. That's Mashiach ben Yosef moment. Isn't that sad? And we were fighting on the streets of Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Fighting. Crazy over crazy things. Like idiots. Was it an issue of eating bacon? We were going to court over if you can build a sukkah or put up a mechitza on the street. We were cursing each other. Really? October 7th. October 7th put an end to that. Now we look back and go, what were we thinking? So let's be very clear. The challenge for the believer is to understand that every person is created in the image of God. There are many people who urge me not to do what I do because those who become Christians or are Christians, who cares about them? They're pro-Israel and or they're losers who convert to another religion. Let them go. We don't need them. I say no. They're all created in the image of God. They need to know. So that's the key. Ritual mitzvot, very easy to keep. How you treat another person, This is the great challenge. If you enjoy these programs, please subscribe, like this video, and share it with others. Shalom. (laughs) 